Today, here in the field, the focus is going to be on throat issues during exercise. It's a very common issue. Uh, some studies found you know, that the number one most common is lameness and number two is breathing issue in horses. And so today we're going to look at just the upper part of the respiratory system, so what we call the upper airway, which is basically the throat. Now we have that camera system that is portable and going on the horse during exercise with the rider riding. So now it provides us all that information we need to look in real time and see exactly what's going on in that throat and then get the best uh, treatment and the best fix for that. So it's called a dynamic endoscopy and um, endoscopy means inside and looking inside, so scope for view and look inside. Uh, so that's exactly what we do. We have an endoscope, so it's a camera at the end of a kind of a semi-flexible uh, tube basically and the tube goes into the nose until we can see the throat. So that's the saddle pad with the equipment. So you can see those uh, kind of backpacks here. So that's where we have the battery on one side and the power source for the light. And then on the other side we have that antenna and we have that recorder. There is also here a pump and a small uh, reservoir, a small bottle with uh, distilled water. And so that pump, we can program it to basically push some water into the scope, into the camera, and it will basically clean up the lens of the camera because the horses can have some mucus. And so the way it works is we put first uh, this saddle pad on the horse, then the saddle, and we can adjust the position of the pads back and forth, up and down. The endoscope is attached to the horse and that's the tip with the camera. So I can steer only one direction and if I turn the wheel down, it will move the endoscope, bend the endoscope like that. We have some lights and we have the nozzle here to spray the water. And so this is going to go into the horse head like this. And it is going to look down like that at the throat. And now we have to keep it in place like this. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Look at you. We also have a screen. So there is a small antenna and the device on the horse, on the pad, will send us the videos on the side of the track. So from the side we can see what's going on. I usually, you know, use a screen to monitor the position, make sure I have a good quality recording. But in all cases I'm gonna take the USB key, the recording, put it in my laptop back in the office, and then I'll review the videos in slow motion. The more the throat is open, the better. And anytime you have some weakness, some collapse, some narrowing, you're decreasing the diameter for the air to go through, and then it becomes more like a whistle. So you want a throat as open as possible. And unfortunately, uh, horses have trouble with the throat to keep it open with you know, such a high speed. So that's, uh, that's why we are quite busy doing those endoscopies. I hope that video today helped you to understand why we do those uh, dynamic endoscopies and how we do them. I hope it can be helpful for you in the future if you have any breathing respiratory issues on your horses. And I'll be uh, very happy to answer any question you have now.